everybody what is up. It is a lovely Friday evening and I'm all cuddled up and I kind of just decided to film this video. I knew I wanted to do a favorite products of 2018 video. I knew I wanted to make a video about my goals for 2019. And then there was just this part of me in the back of my mind that wanted to sit down and reflect on 2018 and kind of go through each month. Um, and, but I just wasn't sure if you guys would want to watch it because it's like about my life. But there's lots of things I went through this year. There's lots of things I learned. And I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to kind of like look at an Instagram photo and be like, this is the background behind that. Just kind of reflect on things. And you know, if no one watches this video, that's fine. I think this is going to be honestly therapeutic for me and really good. So sit back, grab a cup of green tea, black tea, English breakfast tea, coffee, whatever suits your fancy. And uh, yeah, I just, I scrolled down on my Instagram already and I've got it on my photo from December 31st, 2017. It is just so crazy because I can like remember what's going on in this photo. Like it's just crazy. So without further ado, let's get started and just reflect on the year. As you guys are watching this, I wanted to post this on New Year's Eve so that tomorrow I'm going to post my video all about my goals for 2019 to kind of start the year fresh. Gosh, I feel like I'm going to get emotional. I just feel it. All right, let's go. First picture here we've got is my photo from New Year's Eve last year. For the past five years, I've had the New Year's Eve party for like all my friends from my high school and stuff at my house. And this year I'm actually not, which is kind of weird, but I'm kind of happy about it. I don't have to plan. Um, but yeah, so my caption was, let's get it 2018. Um, I wore this like super sparkly dress and I was like really feeling myself. That was a weird night for me. Like it was really fun, but I remember that's when Joey, my boyfriend at the time and I were kind of like starting our not arguments but like we were kind of starting to break apart a little bit so i remember that night was like kind of weird um but it was also really fun like i i really had a blast that night but i also remember just feeling kind of weird let's see so that's how january started um then i literally was so extra and flew back to Athens for the start of my first semester second semester as a freshman um and wow that outfit my gosh um so I went back to Athens and again I was just kind of going through a lot it was really really cold out I remember and like the cold kind of brings out emotions I feel like I didn't have seasonal depression by any means but I um Joey and I were just kind of going through a lot and I was trying to figure out what I wanted in my life. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to study abroad, if I was really, really happy at UGA. I was just kind of like figuring out my life and trying to meet new people and stuff. So I remember one day, a couple of my friends and I um, decided to drive over to Stone Mountain, which is like an hour away from Athens. And we went for a hike and it was just so amazing. Like it just, it was, that was just like a great day. <laughs> to New York City. Um, I actually went to New York City with a few of my best YouTube friends, Brooke, Morgan, and Tori, and we went to a Khalid concert and we had ourselves an amazing little New York City weekend, and that was seriously so much fun. It's just what I needed. Like, I love New York City. It was so much fun, and those group of girls, it's just so, I love traveling with my YouTube friends because we all just get each other, and we all just want to do the same things, and it's just so funny. So that was an amazing trip. I guess that was my first trip of 2018. That was in January. Then February is when I discovered presets, for sure. Oh my gosh, like preset season. Like all of these photos, I it like it instantly elevated my Instagram. I loved it. Pretty much all of February, I, it, I did a lot of like photo shoots and I did a lot of like going around downtown and taking fashion photos. I think that's just what I was doing at the time. In March, I went to Gulf Shores, Alabama with um, a ton of girls in my sorority. And I gotta admit, before we went, I was like, why am I going to Gulf Shores? Like, it just did not sound appealing whatsoever, but it's just a thing at UGA and a lot of other colleges you go to Gulf Shores for your um, freshman year spring break. And I ended up having a blast. I met some of my best friends. I became closer with a ton of people because like 20 of us girls rented a house all together. So like you're bound to like bond. I met a lot of my good guy friends that weekend. So it was just really, really fun. And I only stayed 
two or three nights and then the second half of spring break I flew home to Tampa just because I was missing Tampa and I got a haircut I remember I guess it's kind of now the length of my hair I just got another trim I always get a trim every now and then that's like a little bit shorter than normal and I went home for a little bit just because it was just nice because Florida's fun in spring and I wanted to like go home and then also at the end of March that is when Joey and I broke up we actually Actually, also in March, Joey and I officially decided to break up during my spring break when I was at home in Tampa. Um, I remember like the next day I was going to the beach with my mom, so that was kind of weird. Um, but it was really good to be home when that happened, and it was just kind of time for like me to relax and do my thing. So then in April, I decided to try and be more of a fun college gal because I was kind of holding myself back. I wasn't doing as many things, so I went on like some frat fraternity date nights, and I just really had a lot of fun. Like there was this one, it was like a like a field party so I like wore my cowgirl boots um, Delaney and I had this amazing day in Atlanta and just discovered Pont City Market which is now like my favorite place ever but I'd have to say the highlight of my April and honestly I really have to say was the highlight of my year one of the highlights was Coachella like Coachella is not overrated. At least I had an amazing experience. I went to Coachella with Dote and I went with a ton of my best YouTube friends ever. Like, it was so much fun. I We stayed in this huge house in Palm Springs. It was absolutely amazing. It was like the craziest experience of my life. They, they literally had like massages for us in the morning and everything. It was so much fun. Like, seriously so thankful. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna top my Coachella experience next year. I'm hoping I go. But Brooke went, Kenzie went. Keaton went, Margo went, Morgan went, I mean, I'm just like trying, Maggie went, like we all had so much fun together and I personally just love music. Like all of my favorite artists are there, like Post Malone, Beyonce was there. I got to see Amine live, which I, I literally thrived that weekend. And for some people, Coachella, they might not like it because they don't appreciate the music. But for me, Coachella was so fun because I got to dress cute and like have fun and like get cool photos, but then have so much fun. Oh my God, Odessa was amazing, Migos was there. like. It was so much fun and it really elevated my love for music even more and just made me realize how important music is to me. So it was honestly a defining weekend and it was really refreshing because I was worried that that weekend it was going to be very like everyone wanted to take photos and yes it was a lot of photos but we all were genuinely having so much fun and I just thought that was so cool because I feel like a lot of like other people go to Coachella and like they just want to get cool photos and they don't really enjoy it but like I'm here to tell you guys, I seriously had so much fun. Then in May, I packed my bags, I did final exams, and I drove home. My mom flew up to Athens and then drove back home to Tampa with me, so that was really exciting. I It was crazy. I packed up my freshman college dorm, which is just, it was honestly so sad. You guys know how close I was and still am with my hallmates. Hill Hall, fourth floor, best wing, like, love those homies. Like. Literally shout out to all of you. We still have a group chat. We still talk all the time like they are what made my freshman year amazing and If I didn't meet those people like I don't know if I like Would be as happy like seriously they I just my roommate my whole mates like everyone was absolutely amazing So it was really emotional for us to all pack up like I literally started crying and like when I closed the door to my dorm I was like, oh my gosh, this is so sad like freshman year I talked about this last year was hard for me. It really was it. I didn't thrive. It was not amazing The second semester was a lot better, but it was just weird So yeah packing up Hill Hall was really really sad But I'm really thankful that we all still have stayed friends because I was really nervous that we wouldn't um, So yeah, then started the summer of Traveling I went on tour with garage tour. I call it tour. They called it tour, but it was really only three locations I got to do meet and greets with Kenzie Elizabeth and Sophia Pruitt in New York City, Chicago, and LA Seriously dream of mine to go on tour and like just do a ton of meetups with you guys So that was really cool, but before we started tour I got to go on uh, Was it ten days? It was a long trip um, with one of my best friends Morgan Yates and we went to Spain we went or no we went to and Portugal we, went, we started in Lisbon Portugal and then we went to Madrid and then Barcelona and it was so much fun like it was literally like right after I got home like I remember it was like the next week we went to Lisbon Portugal which is so underrated and then we went into Madrid which was probably my favorite because it was the most cultural but Barcelona was a top like contender because my best friend Caitlin happened to be in Barcelona at the same time as me and we hadn't seen each other all year 
So like we met up and like that was really freaking cool. It's just so crazy. And after that tour began and Kenzie and I started off tour at Catch New York City, one of my favorite restaurants you guys know. I show it all the time. Kenzie and I got really close this summer because we were both dealing with really, really bad anxiety. Like so our first meetup was in New York and it was, well, it was on Long Island, the actual meetup, and it was with Garage, and that one we were both really, really anxious for. I, like, wasn't feeling my 100% self, um, and we kind of, like, had this heart-to-heart -heart about it after, and I mean, we met so many people, and I had so much fun, but after that one, we felt so much better, and, like, I don't know, we just had this heart-to-heart, -heart and we just talked about ways to improve our life and how to not be as stressed and anxious all the time. Then we jetted off to Chicago the next weekend, which was probably my favorite of the three. I loved meeting all of you at Everywhere, but I had never really discovered Chicago and like I had myself a time. It was our biggest meetup. Hundreds and hundreds of people came. Like we literally came out for the meetup and I was like, oh my gosh, like I, I started crying. Like I Drake was playing. The DJ was just killing it. I need water. Oh my God, I'm getting too excited. Shortly after, I headed to Los Angeles for the last um, stop on the trip, and it was awesome because I have a ton of friends in LA. Morgan actually picked me up from the airport, went to Nobu Malibu that night, and we had ourselves a time. We went, walked around Melrose, and then we actually did the actual event, the meetup on the beach in Santa Monica, or was it Venice? No, we did the meetup on Venice Beach, which was really freaking cool, and it was so fun, and I got to meet a lot of you, and some of the people I met at that meetup, like, were friends with my friends from home, and it was just a small world. Straight from LA, I flew to New Jersey, and I was there for Daly's birthday, one of my hallmates from last year. She's still one of my best friends, and we had ourselves a time. We went to the Jersey Shore. All of us hallmates went. We visited Daly in our hometown, and we had so much fun. Couldn't stay home for long, so after a couple days home, my family and I went on a trip. Um, my family does a trip like every year, like every other year. If you guys didn't know, my parents are divorced, but we actually did a trip together. My mom, my dad, my brother, and I, and it worked out pretty well. We started in Laguna Beach and then we went to Santa Barbara, and then we flew up to Canada and we went to Banff National Park and Vancouver. So it was a good time. And I have to say, during this family trip, it was just so good. Like, my family got along really well and we all had so much fun. And I really let go during that week. I think I think I did, like, because I didn't vlog, like I vlogged the whole time, but I think I split it up into week in my life. Or did I do day in my life? I don't really know. Either way, I felt the most relaxed I had felt all year that trip. It was just so nice and I, there's something about being nature and for me being around the mountains that was so nice for me. And I actually also got really tan naturally. I just tanned a lot when we were in California, not, not in Canada, but in California, um, I laid out a lot and just being outside and doing activities. I just got a lot of color and I remember being really hype about it. Then at the end of July, my best friend Caitlin and I drove down to Miami, South Beach, Miami to be specific, for a little weekend because I was about to leave because I had to go back to Athens for a rush little at the end of July. It's insane. Sorority rush is crazy or recruitment. We um, had a little weekend together. It was so much fun. We stayed at the Redbury in Miami. Highly recommend it. It's a cute little boutique hotel. And I was just feeling so happy and healthy. We were tanning by the pool. When we went to the best spin class I've ever been to in my entire life. And I am so sad because I don't even know if I'll ever get to experience anything like that again. It was Soul Cycle in Miami. And we went to like a Drake class. So they only play Drake music. And you can ask Caitlin, like, I don't think I've ever been that happy in a workout class in my life. Like, I was literally like smiling so hard because it was all Drake and it was so much fun. Then I packed my bags once again and drove up to Athens, Georgia to move into my own apartment. I was really, really excited about it. Um, so this year I'm living in an apartment with one bedroom and one office. So it was like a big move. I was living alone for the first time and I, I love it. I loved it. Um, update. It's amazing. I haven't felt lonely once because literally if I was like bored, I would just drive over to my friend's house. And in college, you're like at school all day and like in class and you're with people all the time that when I came home, I wanted to be alone anyways. Like it's fine. Next year I am living with my best friend Delaney Free. So I'm excited, but Living alone's great too. Then sorority recruitment began. I was there for two weeks. The week before, I think it was two weeks, yeah. Just about. So the first week we just practiced and we did all of our chants. We had spirit week, we dressed up. We had a lot of sister bonding time. And then the second week was for sorority recruitment and I lost my voice day two. It was so much fun though. I really have learned my communication skills. I know how to talk to anyone and everyone. 
And yeah, I can't believe I have to do it again. Um, it's really fun and it's exciting because we bring in new members and I love the girls. A lot of girls that I talked to during Rush ended up going Kappa Delta, so that was really cool. Um, so it was definitely a really cool experience. I'd never gone through sorority recruitment before and Brooke obviously is in my sorority, so that was really fun. We like got to do it together. So. And then bid day was dope. Our bid day theme was ice cold and it just, it was awesome. September started game day season. So every Saturday in Athens is always fun. We would all dress up and we got our black and red on and we just love football games. And then I also went to New York City with Delaney um, for a weekend. It was really, really fun. We did fly Nyon, which is like the helicopter with the open door. So we got to do that. So I'm looking at my phone because I just like need to refer. In September, I also flew down to Tampa and surprised my dad for his birthday and that was really cool and I actually succeeded and if you guys saw that vlog it's so funny because I thought I was about to ruin it and from Tampa I flew to Atlanta and went to music midtown with Brooke and by the way in between all these are like weeks of classes it's just I travel on the weekends a lot went to music midtown a music festival in the middle of Atlanta and it was so much fun I got to see Post Malone, Khalid, um, those were the highlights. Then September 20th came around and I turned 20 and I remember guys like I think I talked about it Like I was not excited to turn 20. I was really sad. I was like I'm leaving my teen years Like I was genuinely like I went to bed before midnight because I did it. I don't know. I was like sad about it I don't know why but Also on my birthday. I got a little my little is named Kensley and she's amazing. She's so sweet and it was so fun I was really hoping like because you give your little clues throughout the week before the reveal And I was trying to like throw her off and like I said I hate social media and I said that I live in Georgia and like I guess she like just knew it was me but like it was still amazing and so big little reveal was so much fun and then from big little reveal <laughs> the next morning I went to LA seriously it was the year of traveling I went to LA to visit some of my best friends Morgan Yates, Janine, Kenzie I think I saw Shelby that weekend too, Taylor, so many amazing my friends and I had a little birthday weekend in LA which was so crazy like it's just crazy how I have friends all over the world who like truly love me and like believe in me and like I don't know it's just I'm really thankful for these relationships and everything that YouTube has done for me and that I had the opportunity to just go to LA that weekend. In October my sorority competed in a competition called Greek Grind, it's a hip hop dance, it was absolutely amazing. If I remember I'll link it down below our dance, they just put it on YouTube but all the sororities compete and we did a hip hop dance and it was so much fun. Also in October, a ton of my friends and I went to New Orleans. Honestly, all of UGA went to New Orleans for the LSU versus UGA game. We lost, it was really sad, but I had a fun time that weekend. Like, New Orleans, it's fun. New Orleans, New Orleans, that was fun. And then at the end of October, Morgan and Kenzie visited me in Athens. That was pretty iconic. And at the very end of October, I went to Asheville, North Carolina with my mom. It was a gift that I gave to her last year that I never like redeemed. So we went to Asheville, North Carolina. It was, it was a really nice weekend. We went to the spa, we did mountains, everything. We did mountains, that makes no sense. But it was a really good mother-daughter weekend that we really needed and it was really fun. Then, you know, just some average college life um, in November um, before Thanksgiving break, we had some fun little like wig parties. I went to the Travis Scott concert and the Drake concert in the same week. That was insane, but it was really, really fun. I'm really into concerts lately. Then I came home for Thanksgiving break and Thanksgiving break was really, really nice. I was ready to come home. Thanksgiving break is really nice because you like come home before finals to kind of chill, but it's also like this tease because then I went back to school and I was like, oh my God. But one thing that is really special to me about Thanksgiving break was I spent a lot of time, oh my gosh, don't cry. I spent a lot of time with Miley, my dog. Um, I'm not even gonna say was my dog because she's still forever my dog, my first dog. My girl, oh my God, don't cry. It's okay, I can cry, feelings are okay. I have to tell myself that. <sighs> Miley recently passed away. If you guys didn't know, she actually passed away the day before I came home from finals. It was really, really hard for winter break. But all of Thanksgiving break, I spent a lot of time with Miley. I actually am so happy I took this photo with her on Thanksgiving and we actually took our Christmas card photo with her. I'm really happy I captured those moments. Um, but yeah, it was just really weird because over Thanksgiving break, she was so happy and so healthy. We took her to breakfast with us. 
and we had she's been having seizures for the last year and a half or so but we literally were taking her to acupuncture giving her medicine every day and she had just gotten a blood test when I was home for Thanksgiving break and they were like everything looks good nothing and then you know she had a stroke one night and she lost her vision and then the next morning she passed away so that was rough, <laughs> um, but you know, I just tell myself that everything happens for a reason and one of my mom's friends told us that, you know, she, her time was done. She did what she had to do. Freddie's about to leave for college. I was already gone. You know, my mom's kind of establishing her own life, so Miley's been with us for the last 11 years and she was absolutely amazing and my best friend and I love her so much and I miss cuddling with her. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm really thankful for Thanksgiving break because I got to be with her. Oh my god. Ah. So yeah, then um, finals happened. They happened. They were a thing. And I got the call. I will never forget. I was just getting off the bus. I had taken my last final. I was so happy. I was going home the next morning. Delaney Free was coming home with me. She was going to drive my car down with me for winter break and she was just going to stay for a couple days and visit Tampa. And uh, my brother called me and he told me that Miley had passed away. It was the weirdest moment of my life. I haven't experienced a lot of death in my family. So it was just weird and I'm still figuring out how to deal with it. But yeah, that was like a crazy weird thing. But um, it was so nice having Delaney come home with me. And um, we, you know, my family was obviously in a very weird mood. It was nice having her there, but I know she probably, you know, it was it was an interesting time to be at my house because we were all kind of really emotional. Like we'd all randomly start crying at different times. And Delaney was like, I don't know what to do. But she like kept me laughing that whole weekend and it was really nice. Like if she didn't come home with me that weekend, like I think I would have been a wreck. Like it was really nice. Yeah, I showed around Tampa. That was really fun. Picked out our Christmas tree. Disney was kind of rough, honestly. Like, you know, you post photos and you're like, I'm at Disney, I'm so happy, but it was, actually the first half of the trip, like we were all just, you know, we're all still sad about Miley. Like I think it's kind of hitting us a little, lot more than we thought it would. Um, but that's just means she was an amazing dog and like she was so important to our life. Uh, you know, I think one thing I've just realized as a whole, so that's kind of December, yeah, Christmas happened, whatever, and now it's December or something, about to be New Year's. I think one of the biggest things I learned this year growing up is weird and it's hard and it's kind of hit me with reality. The podcast episode I'm talking about, my brother said something to me that was very potent in my mind. He said, Danielle, life isn't always sunshine and rainbows. Like you're gonna come home like, and you, you just expect us to be all happy and be happy you're home from college and we are, but there's things that happen at home that you're not here for. And you know, like life, life is just not always going to be happy is basically what he's trying to tell me and that's something I just have a hard time dealing with I've just always lived a very positive this year and last year have been different for me because I experienced more emotions I experienced more hardships I'd say 2018 especially um 2017 was hard the second half of the year because I started college and it was just an adjustment but this year was different because I lost some loves in my life honestly I Joey and I decided to stay really good friends instead of being a couple and I mean he literally just texted me right now like we're chill but you know I became single in 2018 I lost my dog in 2018 two very special things to someone you know so I've had to learn to grow as a person and deal with things, but also I've also had to learn how to feel emotions and be okay with it. Like something that, like I just, I needed to cry. And I do cry, I cry a lot. But I would be like, Danielle, stop, you need to stop crying, like go get coffee and just go be productive and you'll be fine. And it works for a little bit, but then you come home and it's, it's when I'm at home at night and I'm like thinking about Miley or whatever, like I'm definitely over the whole breakup, but there was some months after that that was hard too. So I think it was just a lot of like, life is a thing and it happens and especially the last few months, like it's weird, like growing up is weird. Like my family, we're all getting older. You know, like when you're a kid, like everything's so easy and nice and you know, as I've grown up, I've gotten to do so many amazing things, but with that comes a lot of tribulation. So yes, I just sat here and I talked about <coughs> the highlights and the lowlights of my life. Um, maybe I'll call it highlights and lowlights of 2018. I don't really know. But this video is so long. Oh my God. But I also learned how to surround myself with people that are positive in my life. Delaney Free, if you're watching this, 
thank you <laughs> for just being such an amazing friend to me this year and making me laugh at any part of the day. Brooke Michio, shout out to you. I'm so happy we started Gals on the Go podcast together. I don't even think I said that. That podcast has just seriously changed my life for the better. I have so much fun with her recording every week. She's one of my best friends. I'm going to be so sad when she leaves UGA next year. But um, pretty sure she's moving to New York City and like I'm on that track to do that too. So like we'll see each other. All my high school besties, I'm so thankful that we're all still friends. My hallmates, I love you guys. My family, my YouTube friends, my manager, you're awesome. Like seriously, I'm constantly surrounded by so many pe amazing people in my life. And I, um, well, I'm making a video about my goals for 2019 right after this video. So I'll talk about that in that video. So tune in tomorrow. Reflection is weird and a few people responded to my tweet and were like because I asked if I should do this video and people were like well why focus on the past like just go on with the future like you don't need to dwell on it but that's my problem that's what I was doing with Miley for example I was just I was like you know what it happened like I literally can't take it that like it happened I need to just move on with my life but then I constantly was feeling this pit in my stomach and I wasn't I was just trying to like hustle and be a girl boss and everything, which was helpful in a way, but I needed to feel my emotions and I needed to reflect. And honestly, last night, or no, two nights ago, I literally scrolled down to my first photo on Instagram because I was just in a reflecting mood. And every time I saw a photo of Miley, I cried, but I had to let it happen. I had to cry it out and I feel a lot better, you know? I mean, I'm still sad and I miss her so much. And I cried seeing certain people in my photos. I haven't really lost any friends in my life. Like I haven't like cut off anyone in my life. I've never, I've had some natural fallouts, but no one I'm like, see a photo and I'm like, oh my God, we're not friends anymore. Like ever, I, I don't know. I've just personally never had that. I guess that's a good thing. I'm really thankful for that. <laughs> like I think I'm getting lunch with my other ex-boyfriend in a couple days. I don't know, I just have this thing. I like to stay friends with my exes, you know? This video is really long, and if you guys are still watching this, comment down below your favorite quote, and then I'll know that you stayed to the end. Because if you did, that's crazy, and you must really like my videos, or just be curious about my life. <laughs> But yeah, I really hope this video taught you guys something or gave you guys an insight to my life. I didn't want this video to feel like, oh, I was bragging about all the trips I did. As I went through the video, I was like, oh my god, I traveled so much. People are going to be like, what? But traveling is what makes me happy. I, it, I thrive off of it, and I really am thankful for the opportunities. A lot of the traveling I got to do was paid for by brands, so that was really cool. I didn't spend a ton and ton of money on flights. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh. Um, I'd say like three quarters of it were like with brands or for an opportunity so that was really cool so yeah i'm really curious to see what 2019 is like for me um 2018 i was just kind of like excited i was like really excited about 2018 i'm excited about 2019 but like i have nothing like necessarily like really exciting happening so we'll see i i'm just gonna take it day by day i'm really focusing on just being happy healthy doing well in school creating lasting good relationships with people and working on my youtube and just continuing to try and kill the game. Whew. I love you guys so much. I can't believe I just sat down and filmed this video. Like, I hope, I hope you guys liked it. And if not, I have this video for myself to watch in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys endlessly. Happy New Year. I hope you guys have an amazing New Year's Eve. I'm also filming a New Year's Eve get ready with me. So, that'll be fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my next video. And, well, I'll see you guys next year. I'm so cheesy. Okay.